Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to find shorted circuits fast using coil to ground resistance. When a motherboard has a shorted power rail, coils or inductors become your fastest diagnostic gateway. Every coil feeds a specific voltage rail and by measuring the resistance between the coil output and the ground of course with the board powers off you can instantly identify whether a rail is healthy or shorted a normal rail shows a stable resistance depending on the circuit while a near zero or extremely low resistance is a strong indicator of a direct short ground this technique works because coils sit directly between the regulators and the loads making them perfect access points to check the condition of the rail once a shorted coil is identified you have already narrowed the fault to a specific section of the motherboard from there techniques like voltage injection thermal spotting become targeted and fast mastering coil to ground resistance testing doesn't just save time it separates random part sweepers from true board level diagnosticians most technicians lose hours because they start after powering the board but here is the truth the motherboard already tells you where the short is before power is applied so remember power off is faster and safer diagnosis because shorts don't hide you just need to ask the right component and as i told you the right component for short circuit is coil and every power rail on a motherboard passes through a coil also call it an inductor cpu ram chipset 3 volt 5 volt circuit all of them here is some rules and techniques that you have to remember for the coil always one side is connected to regulator output other side to load it could be cpu ram or gpu etc that makes the coil the perfect checkpoint for the rail if a rail is shorted the coil will expose it immediately so coils are direct access to each voltage rail so for the test it's very simple fast and reliable the step one power off the motherboard step two set multimeter to resistance ohm or diode mode step three black probe to ground step four red probe to the output side of the coil and here is what to look for stable resistance equal normal rail near zero or zero resistance equal short to ground and i'll give you right now a pro tip don't test just one coil test all similar rails and compare values example cpu v core coils have to show similar resistance ram coils also similar resistance if one coil reads lower on different than the others you found your problem so remember comparison is faster than memorizing values a common mistake is thinking there is one magic number there isn't the reality is cpu rails show naturally low resistance because of the cpu resistance but did short almost zero and unstable reading so if resistance clamps slowly it's normal if it stays pinned near zero means shorted 100 percent so behavior matters more than the number itself so here is the most important part in this video what to do after you find the short once the short coil is identified your job becomes easy so you can inject voltage safely use thermal camera 
or freeze spray. You can use the evaporation method and you can of course narrow the fault to a small area. Instead of heating the entire board, you are now targeting centimeters. Here is another pro tip for advanced technicians. Coil isolation. If the reel is complex, lift one side of the coil. Why? Confirms if the short is before or after the coil saves replacing regulators unnecessarily. The single step separates professionals from part swappers. This is why professional diagnostics always start with coil to ground resistance. It's fast, it's safe and it works on laptop, desktops, GPUs and consoles. If this helped you, like the video and if you are serious about mastering motherboard repair step by step, explore my deeper tutorials and advanced content. Comment below if you want a dedicated video on CPU vs RAM rare resistance comparison. And for anyone who want to accelerate learning, you can join my Patreon page or links in the description. Thank you very much.